savings time change and I don't know if it's just me or we all struggle but it's been a really slow morning for us Luca actually slept in until like nine um which I was starting to get worried and then I remembered it's really eight uh, for us so it's fine <laughs> but that meant we were just getting up slowly I've been getting him ready we have one of those rare Sundays with childcare today because we're gonna be traveling later. So sometimes um, we'll do some days on the weekends because then we won't have them during the travel time. And I'm just going to use today to do a Sunday reset. So I actually have some time to myself to do all of the things that I like to do to get ready for the week, including walking around the neighborhood, going to some of my favorite spots, get, grabbing breakfast, and I'm gonna take you guys along. First up, I am starting with some water because this heat and dry air has me like waking up super parched every morning. So that's a must. And then I'm gonna make Lucas breakfast. And then I'm gonna head out and grab some breakfast for us and take a little walk. <laughs> been enjoying just like wiping on some shadow not dealing with eyeliner and it's super easy very fast and it literally took me six minutes which is usually all I get in the morning to get ready so now I'm gonna step out and get coffee and some pastries usually I make coffee at home but every now and then I like to treat myself to a little vanilla latte so we're gonna do that I'm also changing into leather pants because it is still very cold out and wintry and I don't think I'm ready for the all white outfit yet like it needs to be 10 degrees warmer all right this is my sunday attire let's go get breakfast <music> breakfast pastries and now I'm headed to one of my favorite coffee shops in my neighborhood which serves very good lattes. I believe they use variety coffee as their beans and it's just so delicious. <music> Thank you. 
I am out taking a wellness walk, mostly to get Luca to nap because daylight savings has completely trashed our nap schedule. Thank you. Just one hour difference makes a difference. So I'm hoping that the soothing racking of the stroller will help him get to sleep. And then I'm going to go back home after I get some more steps and I don't know, maybe do some painting. I feel like doing something creative today. One big thing for me to reset is to do an activity that doesn't require a screen. And for me, painting is very meditative. So I think I may try to fit that in if this little guy lets me do it. <laughs> asleep and I have just made the game time decision to go to the grocery store and get a few things to cook some nurturing home-cooked dinner so I'm thinking chicken pot pie and hot dogs for at some point this week because I already bought the hot dogs I just need the rest of the supplies and it's one of Luca's favorites very simple palette so I'm about to head into a grocery store here just grab all of the items that I need and then I'm gonna go home. I'm seriously lagging right now because that time change is hitting me too but I'm trying to power through because if I nap I'm just gonna feel more tired so I'm gonna keep busy and continue with the day. about living with a toddler is your slow Sunday of self-care easily turns into a full week of trying to find the time. So here we are on Wednesday, my work has finished and I am sneaking out to get my nails done because I'm, I'm kind of scared to show them actually. It's like, it's really time. It's necessary. Don't know yet what color I'm gonna get, but I'm just glad that I found time slot. So that is this afternoon's activity. All finished. They're so cool. I got um, chrome nails. I was going for like glazed donut look, but they didn't quite have the supplies. So we did chrome silver instead and I love. All done. Come on, let me get the last one. 